Hey, this is Greg at YourLuxAntiques.com. We get a lot of messages from customers asking how to clean furniture and how to wax it. So we're going to do a series of videos showing how we do it around here. Uh, first, we're going to start with cleaning because you want to clean before you wax because uh, you know there's no sense in putting wax over dirt. Um, but a lot of people come in and they say, you know, I need to strip and refinish a piece of furniture and usually for the most part that's the last thing you want to do with an antique furniture because the value is going to go right out the window and for the most part most finishes will come back to life if you just clean them properly i want to show you a couple of the things we use around here a lot we go through this by the gallons we do buy it in 32 ounce cans but they make smaller sizes for home use um, but uh, this is Howard Restore Finish and it does a really good job of uh, getting moisture out of finishes like your white coffee rings and it also cleans very well and it comes in about seven different uh, stain, um, I call them flavors, but different stains. We use two around here. We use a neutral, which has no stain, and then we use a dark oak. Um, and basically, if the furniture's kind of brown, then we use this. If it's sort of a lighter wood, we'll use the, uh, the neutral. And um, the way it works is it's pretty easy. Um, I'm gonna use a neutral on this piece because we're gonna work, work on this piece. And the top of this finish is pretty hazy, and it's got some dirt and just kind of grime on it that we need to kind of clean up. And it's really easy to work this stuff. You can do it, put it on uh, with a rag. Um, the best bet is to put it on with steel wool. Um, and even better than that is to use a brush on a drill. And talking about the drill, you probably have a, a cordless drill around your house, but I always recommend using a corded drill. One, it has more power, better RPMs, and it also will run a lot longer because you're doing this. This brush takes a lot of power to, to spin and, and your battery will run out. So to put this on, um, I'm just I'm not even gonna bother with steel wool, but if you use steel wool, this is a 4.0 grade, which is the softest steel wool they make. And it's, uh, it's real fine, so it doesn't really scratch or anything like that, but uh, you can buy this at Lowe's or any hardware store, really. Um, I'm just gonna put this on uh, with a, old t-shirt just to get it on there and then I'm going to clean it up a little bit with the with the brush so I'm just going to pour some on this rag and it's, you can't see it it's this rags kind of nasty because we've used it a bunch of times but um, it's got some on there it's clear and I'm just going to rub it on here just to kind of get the solvent on a little spot and I'm not, not going to do the whole top here just a little spot and you can see it's it's there's a lot of it on there and then I'm going to Put this here. I'm going to take my drill. Now, I apologize because this is going to be pretty loud. But uh, one thing, if you don't know on a drill, normally they have a switch that uh, will keep them turned on, which is good because it saves your, your fingers a little bit. But this brush is just sort of a natural fiber brush. You can see we've used it a good bit, but it's uh, these bristles aren't um, coarse enough to scratch anything. So I'm going to turn this on. Like I said, it's going to be a little bit loud. And then I'm just going to rub it over here. Just keep it moving. Just keep it moving. You don't really have to worry about the pattern that much. I'm just cleaning the surface. Getting any excess dirt and oil and that kind of thing off of here. And it doesn't really take long. Of course, that's just a one little section. But uh, then you wipe off the excess. So I'm going to try to find a little dry spot here. Got some in here. And then I'm just going to wipe off the excess. And that's basically all it is. And then this piece, I can tell, it would be really hard on the camera, but I can tell a significant, significant difference in the way it feels. It's much smoother to the touch than this side over here. If I rub my hand over this where I have not cleaned, I can feel grit. On this one, I can't. So this one, um, I'll get that excess off, and then we'll be ready to put some wax on. But we're going to take a break. I'm going to go ahead and clean the rest of this piece um, real quick, and then we'll talk about applying wax.